Hey, we are QOTD and you are watching The Daily Recap Show. QOTD is the mobile game show where you get to be on the air by recording video answers to our awesome daily questions. And you can also vote for your favorite answers to determine who makes it to the weekly Big Show Championship that happens on Thursdays at 8.30 a.m. Eastern Time. We're going to show you how you can make it on the air for Thursday's Big Show. We're also going to take a look at one of our favorite fan answers to today's question. Uh, this has to do with certain people that do certain things that drive us crazy. Maybe they tell lame jokes. Maybe they overshare on Facebook. And maybe they just keep harping on you. Why can't you find a nice girl? Mm. <laughs> I think I know where we're going. Mm. Yeah, I have some idea. Right, but Scott. first, let's take a look at some of our top answers to the other QOTDs of this week, starting with Friday's question. What out-of-the-box theories do you believe in? Mm. There's a lot of good ones out there. I've seen those iceberg videos online, and they get into some detail about some pretty wild things. So mm. oh, Iceberg, yeah. like, and I've also seen some Titanic videos that <laughs> get interesting. So interesting aliens right aliens titanic yeah, i haven't seen that one yet uh, there's so much to learn <laughs> yeah no we don't want to let you in on that club so on saturday the qotd was if you could spend two hours in the kitchen cooking with absolutely anyone who would you like to be cooking with and what is it that you're making for us i'm thinking snip and martha that's that's my go-to on this one <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's a, that's a dream duo right there. That's the perfect kitchen pairing. So now we have the top three answers for Sunday's question, which was, if you've ever worked in the service industry, what is your nightmare workplace story? I've seen a lot of these answers. I've been like scrolling through beyondtheair.com. I'm so sorry that you all had to go through the stories that you went through, um, but thank you for sending in your answers because they are truly entertaining and they truly tell us that the customer is not always right. Yeah, almost makes you want to start tipping. Come on. <laughs> well, here are the top three answers for Monday's question. What makes your pet the best pet in all the world? Another cameo. Yes. I love you, Mickey. Important um, detail. Definitely show us your pets, please. Yes. Rule of thumb, even if it's not a pet question, we want to see it. <laughs> Always welcome. Always. A surprise cameo. Right, but... Let's get to the QOTD of TD. Drum roll, please. What's something your parents do that drives you crazy? <laughs> <laughs> Where did we I, begin? Oh my, I just love them, but I have a list. I'll just say one. My dad, whenever we go anywhere, has to read every single plaque that there is. And so if we're in a museum, we can't leave the entrance hall for like an hour and a half because he's gonna go around there and just say, oh, T-Rex, Tyrannosaurus. <laughs> Gotta be read out loud too. It's just awesome. My parents are at the age, they're much older, um, but they're at the age where they just have no tolerance for anybody else. And if somebody says the wrong thing, they just sort of blurt it out. We were watching Jeopardy last night and uh, it was something about lanterns. <clears throat> and the answer was, Obviously, Coleman, I guess. It was supposed to be obvious. And the guy said, Duracell. My mom's like, you're such a dummy. You don't even deserve to be on TV. <laughs> She's so serious. I was like, he's like the rainy champ. <laughs> Zero tolerance. Let people make mistakes, Trisha's mom. <laughs> <laughs> I totally see it, though. She's so nice most of the time. Yeah. Uh, what, were you, what about your parents? Ooh, um, well, if you watch the announcement video, those who did might know uh, my parents tend to be a little forgetful when it comes to uh, opening doors that are closed. <laughs> Just to say, um, like rule of thumb, if the light's on and the door is closed, there's probably someone behind it. Just a little knock. It saves you a lot in the long run. You prepare, <laughs> pay attention. This is important. Always yes. Always not. It's definitely unintentional, but it's like, how is your first instinct just to open the door? <laughs> right. No. Context clues, please. Well, my parents do, um, they're very bad with like backseat driving, especially my dad. Um, he's always like, how fast are you going? If you're in the fast lane, you got to get into the slow lane because you're going too fast. And if you're in the slow lane, you got to get into the fast lane because it's, 
He just always has something to say about the driving. I've always. also been there and I'm very dramatic. And I'm like, do you just want to drive? I can pull over. We can switch spots. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, well, we have our amazing answers and our little gripes about our parents. We also have a lot of really great answers from fans around the world, even though this question is just a few hours old. And we want to take a moment to highlight one of those incredible answers. So receiving the honor of parent pandemonium, we have Kay's answer. Let's take a watch. Something that my mother does that, that make me mad or irritate me, when she feel like she right, she don't let nobody talk. Nah. I've heard from people that I do the same thing, so maybe she where I got it from. But when she feel like she right, she don't let nobody talk. She gonna just keep talking. She don't listen. Sometimes, that's only when she mad or when she feel like she right. Oh, Acorn, <laughs> don't fall far from the tree. He <laughs> hates this thing, but then he totally does it. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. You can't, your parents. You're all gonna turn into him, right? That's that's just what happens. That's terrifying. <laughs> Love you, mom. But yikes. <laughs> <laughs> well, we have an incredible. Thank you, Kay, for that incredible answer to today's question. We also have a lot of really great answers to other questions from this week. So far, we have four you can answer, and we have an incredible answer for Saturday's question, which was pick anyone living or dead you can spend two hours cooking with. Who is it and what are you making? So receiving the honor of coziest kitchen, we have Kate's answer, not K, Kate's answer. Let's take another watch. I would be cooking breakfast with my grandpa who's passed away. He was my favorite person and taught me that breakfast can be breakfast, lunch, or dinner and is the best meal of the day. And so I would love to be around his kitchen table in overalls cooking breakfast together. Love making breakfast. Anyone else? Oh, oh. oh yes. It's every breakfast, meal. Meal of the day. breakfast, lunch, dinner, late night snack. Yes. Oh, every, it fits everything. It works so well. Oh, yeah. <laughs> brunch, dinner. <laughs> uh, I love brunch. I could go on a whole tirade about it, but I'll save it for another show. <laughs> <laughs> Great. We'll have to develop a new question about brunch just for you. Yeah, yeah. come on, guys. Yeah. Well, fans, you've got two days left to submit your own answers for your very own chance to appear on our Thursday Big Show. That's our super fun finale. It's hosted by Keith J.J. Reed and I. We go over the best of the best videos of the entire week. That's every Thursday at 8.30 a.m. on YouTube, Twitch, and right here at beyondtheair.com. As to record your answer for that big show, you can go to beyondtheair.com and click the orange record button under the 24-7 live game stream. Remember, you can still answer today's question or any of this week's other questions for your chance to tell us about your crazy parents, tell us about your opinions on breakfast. Do you love it? We want to know. And for your chance to be on the air with us. And while you're over at beyondtheair.com, you can also play the guess and bid game. Let's just say, that you're a little shy, you're not ready to record right away, but you do want to play and maybe you want to even be seen on the air. Well, what you can do is play the guess and bid game and that's where you bid stars on the videos that you think are going to win. And then when they do win, you climb the leaderboard and you can show up on the leaderboard during the daily recap, like these folks right here. Well, thank you everybody for joining us this morning. And especially thank you to those who've already watched, voted and recorded so far. We are QOTD and Be On The Air signing off, and we will see you on TV. Bye, everyone. Bye. Gonna Bye. go make breakfast. The best. Um. <laughs> <laughs>